Hi Jeep Jamboree enthusiasts, my name is Pierre Sumloff. I'm at the Texas Spur Jeep Jamboree with lead trail guide Ray Carrick here. Uh, we've been out here off-roading all weekend and Ray is uh, running an off-road shop, a Jeep modification shop in the Austin, Texan area, Austin, Texas area for over 17 years and we asked uh, Ray today to help us out explain to everybody the difference between different differentials in Jeep vehicles. We have, we've had a lot of questions in our office about what's the difference between an open differential, a uh, locking differential, and a limited slip. And so with these questions come up all the time in our office, and what are the difference of these, these differentials? What does it mean? What do I have in my vehicle? And so we asked Ray here to, to help us out a little bit. So Ray, you know, explain to us, you've had 17 years, or how many years have you been Jeeping? Well, we've been Jeeping since probably 1985. So I tell you, it's a lot of history back here with Ray. You so. know, the, the difference is, the Pierce, is the differential factory differentials in the Jeep vehicles is the open differential, the track lock differential, and of course now in the newer vehicles they come with the locking differential that's a selectable. The open differentials in the Jeep vehicles, of course, they have the, the tendency to slip a rear tire when they're on the least traction, and they'll slip left to right depending on which tire has the least amount of traction. And then they go, that's an open differential. And then, of course, they go to the track lock differential. And the track lock differential is designed to be street friendly. And it also will slip under a 250 to 500 foot pound slip radius. And it, it, it basically gives you a positive traction uh, for off and off road, on road type uses. It works good in the rain and in the mud, uh, all rock crawling. It helps some. And then we go to the positive differential, which is a locking differential, like what's in our new Rubicons, and you can buy them in the aftermarket world. And the locking differential now that's offered out there in the aftermarket worlds as well is a locking differential that locks the axle solid from left to right in the vehicle with no slippage at all. So that axle allows you to be able to plant one tire up on a rock, and it holds positive traction and will climb up and not slip at all for you and go right over. And of course, those type of locking differentials, for them to be street friendly, they have to be selectable. So you can turn them off and turn them on. So when you disengage a, a locking differential in a Rubicon Wrangler or an aftermarket selectable locker, on disengaging that locker, it allows you to go back to an open differential to be street friendly. And that's pretty much the options you have on that Jeep. Because we have, we have many people who go out and think that because they have a four-wheel drive Jeep, they have four-wheel drive. But that's not necessarily the case. When you have just a stock Wrangler, it's not a Rubicon, you go out there, people get confused because they have one tire on sand and one tire on a rock, and they don't understand that the transfer of energy really goes towards the, 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 the wheel. with the least amount of traction. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's true. The Jeep Wranglers stock off the showroom floor, most, most of them come with open differentials front and rear. Unless you're getting into an upper grade Jeep with the, like the Rubicon or having, like I was saying, aftermarket installations done. And when you buy a Jeep, basically you run into the problem. You have the front wheel drive and the rear wheel drive with called full wheel drive, but the, you still have the open differentials that tend to slip. So when you get in the mud or in an off cambered situation, the tires will slip one in the front, one in the rear. You know, it's an open differential type situation. And it, you have to do upgrades to get past that and going into a a selectable locking differential or a track lock type differential that's street friendly. So, so folks, we hope that uh, Ray here with over 25 years of experience doing uh, off-roading and Jeep modifications uh, at a shop for 17 years can give you that credibility that what the difference of these, uh, you know, difference between a limited slip, a uh, open differential, a locking uh, differential. Obviously, most people in the Jeep community know the locking differential is the Rubicon Wrangler has the locking uh, front and rear axles, which has been so popular with the Jeeping community. So we hope that provided a little bit more of an explanation of uh, what you may have uh, and some answers to your questions. So thank you very much. and. Uh, hope you can join us at one of the Jamborees in the near future. Take care. And thanks, Pierce.